Hi students, before starting a .NET demo lecture, first of all I am just introduce about myself. I am a B computer having 7 years of experience on .NET technology. Currently I am working as a tech lead in one of the leading software firm. Then I am also working as a .NET consultant in Smart Tech Solution and MPCL Private Limited. I am also teaching .NET in colleges as well as in institute. Then I am also handling a freelancing .NET projects and I am also running a bond venture resourcing placement. So all my students getting the job after this course. Let's discuss about .NET architecture. A .NET is not an application, it's not a language, it's a technology developed by Microsoft. And using this technology we can create a number of applications. The applications can be console based application, window based application and web based application. Let's understand what is the meaning of console based application. The console based application means what? We are getting the output in a form of black skin. It is same like your DOS from the output. This output doesn't contain any user interface, no checkbox, no text box. It's a pure black skin output. Window application means it's a standalone application. It's a machine to machine application means you have to install your software on that particular machine. And the web application means what? Here we are creating a dynamic websites. So ASP.NET will allow you to create a dynamic websites. Let's start with when to use console, window and web based application. The console based application used in socket programming. A socket programming means what? It's a machine to machine communication. Basically in .NET, if there is a requirement like doing a socket programming then they will go for console based application because it's not containing any user interface let's start with one example for window based application and web based application there is a one bank called xyz bank they come and say create one banking ka software for me the requirement is like this a bank having only one branch and one branch having only one pc so here i go for window based application. I create one software called xyzbank.exe. I install my software on that particular machine and my software running fine. Now my target is also achieved. After some time, bank requirement get changed. Now bank having a 10 branch and 10 branch having a 10 machine each and locations are also different. So in this case, I have a uh, hundred machines. It is not possible for me to install my xyzbank.exe everywhere. So here I go for ASP.NET website. I create one website called xyzbank.com. So all the hundred machine user using their browser and just typing a URL http colon slash slash xyzbank.com so here my requirement get achieved if I change something then I just change into my xyzbank.com server so if the number of client is less then go for window based application and if the number of client is more then go for web based application so console based application is used for socket programming window based application used for a standalone application and web based application used for creating dynamic websites let's move back to our architecture as i said dot net is a technology and using this technology we can create a number of application like console window and web we already discussed about what is a console and what is a window and web now .NET also support a number of languages like C Sharp, VB, JScript. Now many students are confused what is a C Sharp .NET, what is a VB .NET, what is a ASP .NET. So first of all just clear this. If I choose console or a window 
as an application and if I choose C sharp as a language then it's become a C sharp dot net if I choose console or a window as an application and VB as a language then it's become a VB dot net if I choose web as a application and C sharp as a language so it's become a ASP dot net in C sharp if I choose web as an application and VB as a language then it's become a ASP dot net in VB so depending on your application we have to just change the languages understand the difference between the technology applications and language the languages means C C++ C sharp VB the applications mean console window web mobile and the technologies means dotnet java oracle so don't confuse between these three we already discussed dotnet is a technology now let's discuss about why dotnet come in the market in 99 there were a vp 6.0 and asp this is a applications of Microsoft VP 6.0 is specifically for window based application and ASP is for web based application there was a Java a Java is again a technology of Sun now, there were a heavy competition between VP 6.0 ASP and Java because of Java a market of VP 6.0 and ASP were continuously down that's why Microsoft released a first version of .NET in 99 called a beta version after that they are releasing 1.0 1.1 2.0 3.0 3 3.5 and recently they are releasing 4.0 this is we are calling a .NET frameworks or .NET versions Let's discuss about a .NET frameworks in detail. Beta version 1.0, 1.1, 2.0 include a number of applications. We already discussed about console, window and web. But apart from this, there are web services and class libraries. This is also applications of .NET. After that, .NET release an advanced .NET called 3.0, 3.5 and 4.0 in this framework we have a WPF that is a Windows presentation foundation then WCF it's a Windows communication flow then Silverlight LinQ is a language indicated query and MVC is a model view and controller basically WPF is the replacement of Windows based application WCF is a replacement of your web services Silverlight is an alternative for ASP.NET in that you can create a dynamic websites at client side a language integrated query means we are querying against different different data sources and the MVC is again an alternative of your ASP.NET websites start with the dotnet definition or dotnet framework dotnet is a combination of clr and class library or base classes clr stand for common language runtime now before starting any program first of all we have to understand who will execute this program or who will take care of this program so let's start with one example I have a one integer variable i this is in C sharp and suppose I declare a integer variable in VB deem i as a integer this is we are calling a source code now the common language runtime functionality is what it is convert your source code into a MSL code MSL stand for Microsoft Intermediate Language .NET is a language independent now why because 
if i type a code in c sharp or if i type a code in vb it is automatically convert into msl who will convert this your clr the logic behind is what the msl is itself is a language of dotnet this is a internal language of dotnet if it is a language then it's containing all the things like in 32 character single if else switch so this is the internal language of dotnet now suppose i type a code in c sharp like int i semicolon now this integer variable is map with msl integer variable and it's become a c sharp dotnet if vb integer variable is map with msl integer variable then it's become a vb dotnet in the market new language come call xyz and declaration of integer variable is like this int i colon now dotnet say you design a new language xyz okay now map your language specification with my language specification so here for example this integer i variable is map with msl integer variable and this xyz language become xyz dot net so every language is mapping their common specification available in msl and it's become a dot net language up to 45 languages dot net support because of this logic so this task is performed by your common language runtime so that's why dot net is a language independent after converting into msl with the help of just in time compiler your msl code convert into a native or machine code the format is .exe stand for executable output and dll stand for dynamic link library so again take a two step process your source code get convert into a msl and msl get convert into a native or machine code with the help of jit compiler now if you split this common language runtime this common language for all the language and the runtime means execution so this is the functionality of your common language runtime next one is class library or base classes it's a pre compiled libraries of dotnet means if i want to use c in c out scan f print f in my c and c++ then first of all i have to include some header files like stdio.h and conio.h the same concept use here if i want to use some database then i have to import one dll call using system.data.sql client if i want to use some threading based application then i have to install or i have to import using system.threading so dot net is a combination of your common language runtime and class library basically clr is a heart of dot net framework it will provide a runtime environment to your application it will handle your code execution and the class library or a base classes are the supportive libraries this will help you to create a application we already discussed the first feature of dot net is it is a language independent the next feature is automatic memory management now before this first of all we discuss about memory management in c++ and vb 6.0 suppose i create an object and after that object i will deallocate the memory of that object using obj is equal to null in c++ and obj is equal to nothing in vb 6.0 now suppose i have a thousand object now in this case i have to explicitly write down this code obj is equal to nothing and obj is equal to null now every time i have to write down this code so this is a problem because if i forget something or if i forget to deallocate one object now again what happen the memory is increase and the cpu utilization is increase so dot net solve this problem dot net memory management is performed by garbage collector normally it is called a gc now what happen let's see if i have a object 1 2 and 3 your garbage collector is continuously searches unused or unreferenced object if it is find out unused or unreferenced object then it 
immediately deallocate the memory of that object the time is not specified it is start by common language run time so the memory is handled by automatically and that's why it's a automatic memory management in c++ and vb 6.0 this is the disadvantage of this language but dot net solve this problem using a garbage collector so we don't take care about your memory management this is handled by garbage collector let's start with what i cover in dot net syllabus first i start dot net architecture we already seen some concept of dot net architecture like clr class library garbage collector msil then we move to c sharp architecture here we learn a c sharp language after this we will move to object oriented programming in the middle of object oriented programming we will start one project this is a window based application project here we design the windows based user interface and database design after that we will move to windows based application and communicate with database using a edu.net libraries here normally all the classes taking a one tier architecture but we will cover two tier as well as three tier architecture because in the company everyone using a two tier and three tier so we will cover here then we will move to very important concept call asp.net with ajax here also we start one websites call asp.net websites after that we will cover web services and class library in the class library you are able to design dot dll files this is a 1.1 and 2.0 syllabus then we will move to advanced dot net in advanced dot net i will cover linq that is a language integrated query then wpf is a windows presentation foundation it's a replacement of windows based application then wcf is a windows communication flow again it is a replacement of your web service then we'll move to silverlight and mvc this is also alternative for asp.net websites so this is a complete syllabus of .net which i cover if you like my demo lecture then please call me on this number 9833 7092 or 9930041498 if you want to see my syllabus then please go to my website it's at www.pcps.in thank you